and he's a mind reader. He's a swami. So I want you to give a nice round of applause. I'm going to bring him out. The swami. I was married for a long time, got divorced. Let's hear it for divorce. That's right. That's what it's about. Yeah. You finally burp and fart and I don't have to worry about it. Swami. Yes, Scott. You know, I, I, I don't know if I believe these predictions. Ah, oh, there's a woman sitting there on the third row, third seat, with hemorrhoids. Mm. <laughs> Right, I'm going to close the show down unless I hear some more class. Let's try that again. we got comedians up here trying. That's right. Bangladesh. That's right. Mr. Vegas. The mother. The nerd. Everyone's here. All right. What do you think about that guy? What do you think he's thinking of? Mm, I predict mm, he's homosexual. <laughs> and the girl next to him is an act. He brings her with her to think he's straight. I can tell him. Oh, look at the guy with the hat. You mean that guy over there? Yes. He is a punk. What? Why are you bothering that guy? I can tell he's a punk. Look at him. He's wearing a thick earring that is a zirconium <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> and he's drinking water, which means he's a cheap bastard. <laughs> I know you live at home, you got the room, you have all that shit on your door, don't enter all that shit. <laughs> She's making your pancakes, bringing your sausage in the morning. Your clothes looks like it's done by her. Bullshit! <laughs> Mom, I love your bras. They fit very, very nice. And I love your underwear. It's very, very cool. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to your mother? I love you, Mommy. It's all right, it's cool. Let's hear it for Bangladesh. Come on, man. We don't hate Bangladesh. We love it. That's right. There you go. Anyone needs a cab ride later? Right here. Give it up for the one and only John Hylas. Give it up for this guy here. Now, Johnny Vegas, next to your mother, is a nerdy looking guy. What's his name over there? I see the glasses. This guy, it doesn't, some, for some reason, these three do not fit. You know what I'm saying? We got him, we got the mother, and then we got whatever you call yourself. Anyway, you see, you got a couple of nice people over there. Ah, Mama. Mama's there. Yes, I remember her. She was a wild woman years ago. And the son, the drug dealer. Hmm. No, the white boy is the other child. <laughs> this place is too freaking quiet. We're gonna wake it up. Yeah. Let's hear some more noise in this place. <laughs> Let me see if I can do a prediction on Stephen. Hmm. I predict Stephen is gay. <laughs> really? Yes, I do. And his lover is over there with the glasses. The child. <laughs> The child, the offspring of Mama! Yes, I predict it! Are you the one that puts it on the racks or are you the salesperson? Uh, I hope both. I knew it! <laughs> you know, like, what a discriminatory freaking country! We got the guy from Bangladesh folding freaking clothes! Come on! Oh, I know you! <laughs> you used to clean my shoes! <laughs> All right, now, everyone know Letterman? Jay Leno? Yeah. All right, our next comedian watches those shows regularly where he's masturbates. <laughs> Give it up for Zach Goldberg. Hmm, he's also gay. <laughs> and she's a lesbian. Hmm, that's her love over there. The girl with the nasty face. Hmm, look at me. Don't look at him. Hmm, I predict she likes fish. Oh. <laughs> now let me in the gap. You look under the stalls when the women are changing. Like I just can see you laying around, seriously, just going under the freaking stalls and looking up. I, I know it. I, I know what you're doing, man. You just, this guy's perverted, a thief, every freaking thing. Where are you from? What do you do? I'm a school teacher. Let's hear it for the education system. All right. And I'll tell you a story in a minute here, and then I'll bring on the next comedian. Talking about the great education system, I did a show last week. A girl was there, for, uh, had her master's degree. So I said, what state are you from? You know what she says? Queens. I swear to God. 
Freaking master degree candidate. So you're the ones that are doing a great job here educating everyone. Keep it up, keep it up. Get more guys like him working at the Gap.